Hi there, in this video I'm going to have a go at installing the scale on the y-axis on the uh, Sieg SX2P Mini Mill. Well I must say I thought that the y-axis would be a lot easier to uh, attach, uh, but it's extremely tight. Um, I mean on the x-axis I positioned the reader so that the wire came out of the bottom. Um, so I'm guessing I'm, I need to do the same thing here, but it's, you know, there's not a lot of clearance there. Um, I, mean, I, I guess it's possible. Um, but then, you know, you need a cover on it. So I'm, I'm not too sure at the moment. I'm just wondering whether or not it would be feasible to do something like that. But uh, either way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, shorten the scale so the ends fit within that bit there. And then I'll decide uh, which orientation to put it in. So um, I've shortened the scale, uh, but I've come to the conclusion that I'm trying to get it sort of fitted that way around. It's just going to be too tight. Um, I mean, it might just be possible, but you know, you need room here for the cable at the bottom. So um, I've decided I'm going to do it this way, and I've put a couple of punch marks in here um, on the brackets, through the brackets onto the casting. And these brackets have got nice sort of long holes, so that gives me the ability to uh, fit it a lot easier when I come to fabricate this bracket here, which I'll attach round about here. Um, and then I'll have to fabricate some kind of cover for it. But anyway, that, that's the plan I'm going to go with at the moment. Well, I've uh, drilled and tapped M4 threads and loosely attached it with uh, these cap head screws. Now I'm trying to work out the best position uh, for the centre of the head uh, against this face here. And I think that with the table at the moment, the, the, the head is directly above the centre of the table, although you can't see that. Um, looking at that, that's six centimetres. So six centimetres going back there takes us to there which I think is good. Um, on the front uh, eight so we can come eight centimetres forward. That's way out here. So I think that position is fine. So if I mark that and that's roughly where I need to be aiming for for the centre of this head so what I'll do is I'll take the scale off and then try and work out what I need to do to make some kind of a connector there okay so having slept on it um, I thought I'd have a bit of a rethink and um, a bit of a eureka moment really. Um, I decided to have a look at the um, Touch DRO instructions that Dave M put together. Now I found out that there's a setting where you can invert the readout of the scales so it doesn't matter whether the scales are backwards or upside down so it could be that way around or whatever um, regardless of how I've done the um, x-axis so um, I've decided now I'm going to mount the scales like that so the center position will be the same as I identified before um, and I think if I do it that way I can just probably get uh, an angle bracket on here 
just to provide some protection. So that's the plan I'm going to go with. So I'm going to uh, <laughs> drill and tap in these positions. Um, these brackets are at the bottom, uh, so they are resting on uh, this here. Um, but the head still moves, so that's fine. Um, so I think that'll be a far tidier solution. Um, so once I've uh, drilled and tapped the holes, I'll get back to you. So I've flattened the other bracket and I've drilled a hole here as close to the edge as possible. And the idea here is I'll attach it something like that. And then I'll put it on the mill and then mark through this hole on the mill. Okay, so I just put some washers behind these uh, cap head screws just to offset it. And uh, seems okay at the moment. So what I need to do is to mark through the hole here and then work out uh, how much of a spacer I need to put between sort of that face and the bracket. And uh, once I've worked that out and attached it, I'll then have a think about how to uh, fit this right angle piece of aluminium. So, so far so good. I actually drilled an M3 thread there and uh, put this uh, cap head screw in, uh, just loosely. And I've moved the table um, in and out just to make sure that you know there's no sort of like pressure on it and there isn't. Now uh, I'm sort of lucky I think here because um, with the scales there's uh, a bit of plastic I think it's to to mount the remote um, reader on um, which is sort of redundant and uh, I reckon that the space behind the bracket and this face is that thickness. <laughs> so I've just cut a piece of this plastic and I'm just going to take the cap head screw out again, place this behind it and then screw it all together. So I'll do another rough and ready test then on the Y axis. So uh, my hand wheel set to zero and the uh, remote display is set to zero. So if I turn it a full circle, um, that should equate to two millimeters. That looks pretty good to me. Very happy with that. So to uh, protect the scale um, I've come up with a not very elegant solution at the moment. Uh, I'm struggling for uh, material uh, but anyway I've uh, used a bit of that uh, aluminium angle and uh, attached it to this piece of wood and what I'm going to do is going to put three blobs of hot glue on here and just just attach it like that. And uh, I think that'll do me for now. So the hot glue didn't work. Um, so I tried some super glue, that didn't work. So I'm going to try uh, a little bit of epoxy resin and leave that to set overnight. But anyway, back to the DROs. So the X axis, the Y axis, and the Z axis. Well, I don't know. There was me thinking that the uh, x-axis was going to be a, um, a lot harder than the y-axis. And lo and behold, uh, the y turned out to be uh, a lot more time consuming. But hey ho, I got there in the end. Um, I'm a bit disappointed in the cover. I mean, it's functional. Um, 
but I can do a better job than that, I just need the materials. Uh, but at least we've got uh, all the scales on all of the three axes and uh, in my next video we'll be pulling it all together and installing the Touch DRO. So hope to see you later.